chapter 2. And you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you formerly walked, according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, of the spirit which is now working in the sons of disobedience. Among them we too all formerly lived in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, while we were dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with him, for by grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, in order that in the ages to come he might show what are the riches of his grace in kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, not as a result of works, it is a gift of God that no one should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Therefore, remember that formerly you, the Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by the so-called circumcision, which is performed in the flesh by human hands, remember that you were at that time separate from Christ, excluded from the commonwealth of Israel, strangers to the covenants of promise, without hope, without God in this world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who formerly were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace who made both groups into one and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall by abolishing in his flesh the enmity, which is the law of commandments contained in ordinances, that in himself he might make the two into one new man, thus establishing peace, and might reconcile them both in one body to God through the cross by it having put to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off, and peace to those who are near. For through him we both have our access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but are fellow citizens with the saints and are of God's household, in whom the whole body, having been founded on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, is growing into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are being built up into a dwelling of God in the Spirit.